Hey, kingdom people. I'm your kingdom spiritual transformational and life purpose life coach and mentor Latricia Booker here with Kingdom Business. And I'm here to do a pop up beat word message. <laughs> so, kingdom people, what I keep hearing God speak to me is peace is your portion. God is saying that peace is your portion. And he led me to Colossians 3 and 15. And it says, and let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts for as members of one body. You are called to live in peace and be ye thankful. So it says here you called to live in peace. God is saying peace is your portion. So, King of People, there may be some things going on around you. There may be some people trying to disturb your peace, trying to get your attention, trying to just do whatever tricks, you know, whatever it is. And also, overall, what they want to do is disturb your peace. King of People, there are people that are wanting you to engage in battle. Even if you're doing something and you're pointing out truth as God leads you, you're not interested in engaging in battle, but there are people who want to engage you in battle. What God started to speak to me yesterday is that there are people who want to bring up old stuff now because you are speaking your truth, because you are walking in your truth as if something that happened in the past has to do with anything right now and or whatever it is that they are doing or have done that makes you not, you can't have anything to do with them. You know, it's just really been strong in my spirit that people are wanting to bring up old stuff. They want to engage in battle because they don't want you to be at peace. King of people, and many of these people, some of these people, you are, you know, moving around. You're getting away from things that no longer resonate with you. Some of these people are trying to pull you back into who you used to be. And you have overcome that. You have ascended. You're not that. But they want you to be that. They're trying to find a way to bring you back down to their level where they're at. And you're not that. And you're not there. But king of people, what it all is, is God is saying that you are at peace. You are at peace and these people have no peace for the scriptures say that there is no rest for the wicked and these wicked ones have no peace and they want to disturb your peace by all means necessary as long as it is up to them, whatever it is that they feel that they can do. But God is saying here to people that peace is your portion. So pretty much it's, it's a thing where... Listen, I want to say, don't let these people get underneath your skin. But I'm what I'm feeling really led to say is, you already not doing that. I know I'm not. You already not doing that. And if you are, God is saying, don't let them get underneath your skin. Because that's what they want. They want your peace. But God is saying that peace is your portion. And so you are only supposed to be at peace. It doesn't matter who doing what, who said what, what's going on around you. Who I have this thing here in the people where it's like this. When God pointed out something to me today, something personal, you know, in my own experience. And he went on to share with me this being said and this being said. You know, want to get the word back to me. I'm like this. I don't have nothing to say about nothing. I don't even want to have conversations with these people. I have no reason to. I don't want to debate. I don't want to go back and forth. I feel like this. I'm going to say what I'm going to say. Speak my disposition. I'm speaking it in the privacy of my own public platform, for one. <laughs> and for two, if you're aware, because you're watching for whatever reason, then that's on you. I'm just saying what that is the case. But it could be different for you, kingdom people. It doesn't matter. The point that I'm making here is I had to tell God today. They can say what they say. They can feel how they feel over there. Stay over there with that, and I'm going to stay over here with man. I can talk. I can feel how I want. I can speak the truth. I, every time God tells me to speak it, I'm going to do it. Whatever the case may be, I'm going to live in it. Because some of these people, like I've said before, they want to possess you. They want to hide you. They want, They just don't want you to be who God called you to be. They don't want you to be at peace. And some of these people feel like they have to put in all this evil work. And you still at peace and you still trying to move on. And it's, it's an attitude of how dare you. How dare you continue to move into the things of God. People are not at peace, kingdom people, because you're moving into the things of God after all these attempts that they have made to stop you. And so kingdom people, they want to take your peace. But God is saying peace is your portion. 
But going back to what I was saying before, I interrupted myself. See, can the people, you know, like I was saying, stay over there with all that. I stay over here. There's no reason for us to come together and talk about it. You don't need to send no messages to me if you send them to me. First of all, anybody you sending them through, not going to repeat it to me. Because for one, people know I'm not about that mess. And some of the people you might be trying to send it through, they ain't about that mess. If I'm dealing with them still, they ain't about that mess. And again, if they happen to be, they ain't going to bring that mess to me. And let's just say they happen to. So... That's how you feel, and so what? But the point I'm making here is how God was showing me, you know, they want to get you all riled up so you can engage with them. Because what is happening, King of People, you're walking in your truth. I just said this before. I feel like I'm repeating it, but God is saying because you're walking in your peace, you're maybe speaking truth. You don't care what nobody say who about what you ain't trying to be people pleasing and saving face with people, no matter if they was there all your life and that. Once you discover in God and pointing out the devilish ways in a person and how they're listen, I'm hearing he who who he who does the will of my father. Is my mother, my sister, and my brother. So, king of people, some of these people ain't doing your father's will. So, you have to let them go. It don't matter who they are and how long you've known them. And some people don't like it. And you're standing on your disposition. And that's that. And they don't like that you're doing that. Furthermore, you have peace. You're at peace. They're not at peace. So, they want to disrupt your peace. And God is saying that peace is your portion. You are called to peace according to Colossians 3 and 15. You are called to peace. And so, you know, kingdom people, I just want to come on and say that because that was really on my spirit. And God keeps saying, peace is your portion. Peace is your portion. Kingdom people, peace is your portion. I don't care what they doing, what they did, what they let them be over there doing all that. And you keep walking in your truth and whatever God is calling you to do. Because this, and here's the thing. If somebody is not... I'm going to say this, if somebody is saying, and I've experienced this quite a few times, if I know someone on the other end is out of line and out of order and what they're speaking is not the truth, I don't even try to defend myself. I don't go to other people and try to say this, this, that. I don't do none of that. I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing. You know, if I do, is is. I don't know even what I want to say because I don't necessarily do it, especially when it's happening. Sometimes, in hindsight, it may be brought up, but it's to make certain points. It's not to try to paint a picture. And the point that I'm making here is, can people, when you're innocent and when you, what you're doing, you're not hurting nobody, you may be speaking the truth because you got to remember, devils don't like to be exposed, but God is telling me he is exposing time. He, I'm hearing it's a great divide. And so, so many people are walking in their truth and people who are, are they walking in their truth too, too, but they walking with the devil, but they don't want people to know this. And like I said, kingdom people, sometimes you ain't even got to be saying nothing. You just walking in your truth. But anyway, back to what I was saying before I interrupted myself. Again, king of people. When you innocent, that's why it's so important not to defend yourself. When you know people laying on you and what they saying they so, you have to be in a place where you just get what it is. The devil. And yes, the devil will use people that are close to you. I've experienced it. I had a I've had an experience with a child of mine. Who, yeah, was on one. And I never reacted, never responded, never. Because I knew that that, that, that that my child was under the devil's influence to attack me. Them too. but And to cause division between the two of us. I've been very aware of what was going on. And I understood even that spirit, a certain spirit that was operating in my child. It can happen, yes, to your own child. Because why? Came the people. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And he's going to try to use those people that are somewhat open and vulnerable. And that can happen. You know, we live and we learn. And it is what it is. We have to deal with what we deal with. But the point is, I wasn't going back and forth. I wasn't trying to run around and say this, this, and the other. If it was asked to me, i say, hey, it's what it is. Whatever, whatever, whatever. But never attacking it. Oh, yeah, they just never that. Part of the reason why is because I'm not into that. Secondly, that's messy. Thirdly, I'm the adult in this situation or the more older adult. So I'm saying all that to say, king of people, anytime somebody running around, steadily going and, and, and steadily trying to engage you in battle, 
it's because you just spoke some truth that they don't want revealed. So again, they you being innocent don't even try to go convince nobody. And if you're doing that, don't do it because <laughs> you don't have to. The truth will always speak for itself. And I'm hearing what's done in the dark comes to the light. And that's what's happening a lot, King of People. Things, people have been doing things in the dark. And God is bringing all these things, enlightening his people about some things, making us aware, making us move different, and making us remove ourselves from people that ain't moving with him, that ain't moving with God, King of People. But God is saying, peace is your portion. No matter what they doing, how they trying to keep you out of your peace, how much they want to engage. These people are not at peace, and they definitely not at peace at the at the fact that you are aware of them and, and you acting on your awareness of them, that you don't want to have anything to do with them, won't have anything to do with them. Listen, God said something to me today about trying to reel you back in. That's a way to it, trying to get you back to some kind of engagement. And I'm like, I said, um, I would never want to reconcile with somebody who's the devil. What you what reconciliation? What I don't care who you are, how long I've known you, if you the devil, you the devil. I don't wanna make it right or make it work or talk about it. I don't talk to devils unless I really have to. And even then, I ain't talking about what they trying to drag me into. I don't do that. Anyway, King the People, God is saying peace is your portion. So King the People, just keep that in mind. Remember that meditate on Colossians 3 and 15. And maybe any other scriptures concerning peace that resonate with you. Well, all of them should, but well, I shouldn't say should. But whatever is helpful for you, God is saying, King of people, peace is your portion. They cannot take your peace. They can keep taking their own by trying to take yours. But God is saying, don't you respond to nothing. Don't you engage in nothing. And I'm hearing literally, peace be still. God is saying, peace be still. So, King of people. Peace is your portion. King of people, that is what I have for you right now. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. King of people, that is my time. I don't want to leave you, but I do have to go right now. But I will be back to hold you down. I love you all so very much. Kingdom people, Jesus girl is out. Peace, peace.